Welcome to this fourth video tutorial. We saw in the last video how to take the region of the eye and we took the region of our eye and we created a threshold. The threshold to separate the iris and the pupils from the white part of the eye. In this way we can detect the gaze of the eye. So for example, if I'm looking on only one side, let's say I'm looking at my right, I have the pupil and the iris pointing to the right direction while the rest of the eye is completely white. In this case with the threshold we divide the eye in two parts and we can see that one part is completely white while in the other one there is the iris and the pupil so it's not completely white and in this case it's really easy to detect the gaze. The same is if I'm going to look on the other side it will be the opposite, while if I'm looking at the center, the, uh, the white parts will be balanced between left and right. Let's, uh, let's see where we are at and let's see how to, to do that, to, to find the gaze from the threshold. Uh, let's remove the camera. Okay. This is the screen, let's run the script and let's see our part where we were before. And there is uh, some error probably I took, uh, I changed something, it's, it's not running. I don't know, there was an error now, there is no error anymore. What we are interested in is this threshold. Mm, so for the moment, let's uh, not show any more these other parts that we don't need, except let's keep still the, the screen. Just let's not show left eye and the eye. Eye, out and left. I out. We only show the threshold, and from this threshold, let's now divide the threshold in two parts: the left and the right threshold. Left, let's call left side threshold is equals to. We take from the threshold I only the left side so we took we take all the height so from zero to the full height so what's the full height of threshold i we don't know we need to take it threshold i dot shape is going to return us the height and width and that's all that we need so to full height and then from zero to half of the width, so it will be width divided by two, but keep in mind that we need to be to have integers. So if the width is 301, for example, we need the half of it. It cannot be one 150.5, it must be 150 or 151. So remember to use always integer when we are talking about pixels. And this is the left side, and let's do the same from the right side. Right side threshold is equals to threshold i from zero to the full height, and then from the half of the width to the entire width. Let's see this threshold, uh, left, let's just call it left and let's show the left, left side threshold and let's not show, or yeah, we can show even the right side, left and right, then right side, right side threshold. No, 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 there is an error. Right side threshold, okay. Uh, 
and I have it here on my other screen really small we are going to detect with this if there is more white in the left side or more white in the right side how can we do that we have uh, an um, OpenCV function to count the non-zeros all the zeros are black so non-zeros in this case are going to be white so let's say left after left side threshold left side white is equal to cv2.count non-zero of left side threshold and the same we're going to do for the white part so uh, for the right part uh, right side white cv2.count non-zero of the right side threshold after we count on zero let's show them on the screen cv2 dot put text on the image we put the on the frame the text we put integer no not integer we put string because remember when we put the text is it must be always a string and we're passing a number so str must be there Let's put the first left side white, left side side white, and then the position, let's put it on 50 from the left and 100 from the top, and font face, we have already the font, font scale 2, color, let's make it red, 0, 0, 255, let's give a thickness of 3 let's do the same for the right part str of the right side white but instead of uh, let's put the text in a different position 150 from the top and the rest is going to be the same now we'll see if these values that we get will be useful for us to to track the the gaze of the eye now let's let's check the values now i'm looking at the center and the values are really similar if i look on my right we can see that one value goes to 100 something one two and the other one drops down a bit if i look to the other side i cannot see the screen so i don't see the value but it should be the opposite the value above will draw will go up and the value below will drop that's that's what we want in this case as we did for the blinking uh, we, we can find a, we can find a ratio let's divide the numbers left and right white parts between them and we will see what ratio we get and then according to the ratio we will see how to, to work to do that um, gaze ratio it's equals to right left side white left side white divided by right side white and let's only show not the numbers anymore but the ratio so we'll uh, we we'll say gaze ratio and let's see i'm looking at the center i get value between 0 0.5 and 0 0.8 0 0.7 looking at the right the value it's really similar to be honest looking at the left it's above one let's look again at the right and looking at the center uh, 
looking at the right 0 0.7 looking at the center 0 still 0.81 looking at the left 1.4 well it's not so pre precise as I wish it would be but still we need to keep in mind that we are working with only one eye right now and the eye is not symm uh, symmetrical so when we work with both the eyes we will have more accurate detection so one thing that we can do right now is to do the detection for both the eyes and then we can find an average ratio from both the eyes let's put this inside a function Okay, starting from gaze detection, we copy all this part till gaze ratio and then copy. We delete it from here and And we put it outside the while loop and we're going to create a function def get gaze ratio and then let's copy the function we created before and let's now improve this function like we're going to pass the eye points so that we can use the function both for both eyes, eye points. And here for the landmarks part, we have eye points zero. Okay, I copy this one for all and then we put the indexes. And this way. I'm going to put the index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the same 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Instead of left eye, let's just call it eye as we're working for both eyes here, eye and then I and everything should be okay here. Get gaze ratio. We just pass the I uh, the I points and also the facial landmarks. I forgot facial landmarks. Instead of landmarks, let's call it facial landmarks. Same here. Okay, now we can test our function, which is going, we're going to pass the eye points to the facial landmarks that the function is going to return the guess ratio. So I forgot to type return gaze ratio all this we're not going to see it anymore gaze ratio gaze ratio left eye left eye is equals to get gaze ratio we pass the eye points of the left eye which are this one 36 and also the landmark so just copy let's copy this part gaze and let's show the gaze ratio of the left eye on the screen okay 
let's see if it works if I look on the other side should change and it's changing now let's do the same for the right eye so we just pass different argument di different points gaze gaze ratio right eye is equals to a get gaze ratio and instead of the points of the left eye we give the points of the right eye that I have here from 42 to 47 let's copy this one and we get the gaze ratio of the right eye and let's see Mm. So if I close my left eye, no, probably it's the opposite. Okay, ah, okay, this is the right on my screen and it's on my same right anyway. We have gaze ratio right and gaze ratio left. Now let's solve some problem. A zero division by division error by zero. When I hide in my eye there was no white part there was only black i guess and non-zero were zero and we are fi to find the ratio we need to divide the zeros in the white side in the right and the zeros in the left and when the zeros are zero we are dividing by zero and in math in maths we cannot divide any number by zero so how can we do this let's go on the function if one part is completely black it will be zero value so let's think about this if left side white is is equals to zero If all the left side is equal to zero, so the right side gaze ratio. I need to think about this. But let's let's skip this for the moment. I'm not just going to close my eye. And later we will think about that, about how to work with the ratio. Anyway, let's now find the average between them. The average between the ratio of the left eye and the ratio of the right eye so it will be gaze ratio equals to gaze ratio right eye plus gaze ratio left eye and we divide both of them by 2 and now we show the gaze ratio of both like the average of both and it should be much more precise than working with only one eye. If I look at the center, we have a ratio of around two. If I look at the right, 0 0.5. If I look at the left, should be one something. I cannot see the result because when I look at the left, the screen, oh no, okay, it's more than five. So we can say if the ratio is below one, we are looking, I'm looking at the right. If it's between one and three, we are looking at the center. If we, uh, otherwise we're looking at the left. If, if gaze ratio is less than one, let's put the text left left and if one is okay greater uh, or equal if one is less than the gaze ratio and gaze ratio in is 
less than 3 then we are looking at the center else we're looking at the right right let's see if everything is correct if i remember correctly and my webcam is not starting for some reason let's run again the script some there is some division by zero so we need soon to solve that problem I'm looking at the center left. I cannot, well, if I look at the right, I cannot see if anything changes. And there is this division by zero again. Let's solve this division by zero. But how? How can we solve this? We can say if if left side is white is equals to zero, then gaze ratio is equals to two, not to let's say to five. As we said, the values above five it means that we are looking at the left because this one was wrong we're looking at the left so we say that if the white if the left side what actually we're looking at the right so we say one and if right side white is equals to zero gaze ratio is equals to 5 else gaze ratio is the division of these two I'm not sure if this uh, this is completely right I'm, uh, as I'm a bit guessing I didn't think through it but at least we, we're going to solve the error anyway we're not going to get 0 anymore at least the script is not going to freeze okay center right and left it should be fine even if I cannot see the screen ah we are detecting also the blinking I forgot anyway one last thing as I cannot see where I'm looking at because if I look on the on one side I cannot see what's written on the screen and it, it's important for us to be sure when we're working with the keyboard to detect if the position is correct. For this, I got uh, an idea. I'm going to put a new frame on the screen, a big frame, and we're going to put a full color. So if I, good, if I look on one side, still I can see the full color. When we look on the side, we change the color of this big frame. And so when we will work with the keyboard, this change of color will be really useful for us. I hope you understood this. If not, you will see it right now. We create a new frame. Uh, gaze detection. Let's call it showing direction. Let's call it this way. We create a new frame is equals to mp dot zeros mp and this is a way of numpy to create a new image let's create 500 by 500 with three channels because we want to make it in color np dot u int 8 and we are going to do this way we put new frame before detecting the ratio 
I mean the ratio of the direction. So if the direction is right, we're going to make the new frame red. New frame, we're going to fill it by red, so 0, 0, and 255. If it's in the center, we're going to leave it black. So we get a black frame, so we're not going to change anything. If we're looking at the left, we're, we will make it blue. So new frame will be equals to 255, 0, and 0. Last thing, we need to show the new frame. cv2.im show new frame and then new frame. To make it more solid, I put new frame inside after the face detection. This can be an error because if for some moment we don't detect the face, we're going to try to show the new frame even if we don't have it. That's why it's even signaled by yellow. Mm, name new frame cannot be defined. So let's define the new frame before. So we will solve. We'll define the new frame in the same position where we're going to define the frames. New frame, it will be under frame. So now everything is correct. Uh, showing direction. Pfft. Anyway, let's change cancel this. Let's run the script. CVT color. What's this? I had some problem with my webcam. That's why we're not detecting the frames. Now my second webcam is going to start. Okay, now I'm using my other webcam. Anyway, it's, it will work. I'm looking at the center, look at the right and the left. That side is not detecting correctly, probably. There is some problem with the detection of the left, so let's change some value in the in this ratio. If the gauge ratio is between one and two, let's put it this way. detection of the left works so so probably instead of one and two let's say one and 1.5 so still we need to find the optimal ratio one and 1.5 now looking at the center it gives me still left One point seven. Center left. I should improve somehow the function to work properly with the left. Anyway, uh, e even if it's not 100% okay, still we got the idea how this works. And this is something that we can improve later on to, to make it work. We're going to see in the next tutorial how to improve this and we're going to finish this part. And I'm going to release the next tutorial soon and if you want to be updated please remember to subscribe. Also, I rem remember you that I'm working on a new video course that I'm going to release soon. This is all for the moment.